in the cold to come here and see us. We're about to warm you up. Let yes. me ask you one Morning. question. Honey, who's ready for some live girl chat? <laughs> Woo! Okay, so make sure to head over to the Real Estate Time Instagram page and use the hashtag Girl Chat Live mm -hmm. to join in on our combo. So first up. The Me Too movement has been extremely successful in shedding light on the issues of sexual harassment and assault, yeah. with many brave women and men coming forward to share their stories. Now, while it certainly has everyone talking, a big question is how to talk to young kids about it. Mm. This is interesting. A new movement in schools is aiming to start that convo. The movement called hashtag Me Too K through 12 encourages young people who have faced sexual harassment or assault in schools to come forward with their stories. They want people to know that assault in schools can happen in classrooms, cafeterias, even hallways. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It's working. Students are coming forward with stories of being harassed or assaulted by classmates, teachers, even school administrators, Ugh. the adults who are supposed to protect them. Yeah. And when you're at work, you don't know what's happening every day in your, in your kid's day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. right. So to make matters worse, research found that these adults would often fail to report or follow up on misconduct claims made by students, essentially allowing the, the abuse to continue. Wow. Mm. I know, let that sink in for a bit, because obviously I think, you know, everybody can remember when they were in school. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a good idea to start the conversation early with young people? It's Absolutely. never too early. Yeah. Well, I will say, too, you know, not only start the conversation in school, but start the conversation at home. Mm -hmm. I know I was raised by a single mom. And whenever, uh, like, she have a new boyfriend or somebody would come by, she would always have a conversation with me. And the conversation was about, you know, is anything happening? It yeah. was, she wasn't like, is she you know, yeah, I mean, it wasn't yeah. like that or is he touching you or whatever. But it was a conversation where I felt comfortable that she explained to me what's appropriate and what's mm -hmm. not appropriate. And I think if we start having those conversations, especially, I'm, you know, because I'm really for single mothers because yeah. I know what it's like. And sometimes you might have a live-in boyfriend. It's not to say you don't trust them mm -hmm. or you might have boyfriends or men. And the same thing can happen if you have a young boy or a young girl that's your, that's your a child. I think it really starts at home to have those type of conversations yes. because it's important. You are absolutely... You're absolutely spot on. Definitely keep that communication open and do, you know, start having those conversations uh, the moment they actually are able to express themselves. For Aiden's five-year checkup, my pediatrician gave me some amazing advice, and I had that conversation with Aiden, and there's like a pit in your stomach while you're having that conversation mm -hmm. yeah. with your young child because there is, you know, a possibility that that could happen. To them. And it's happening yeah. to young children right, right. now. Um, and the greatest advice uh, my, pedi my pediatrician told me was, make sure that you don't give your child's private parts nicknames. Mm. Really tell them exactly what it is. Mm. Tell your child, this is your penis. These are your testicles. This is your vagina. Because if something happens, they have to be able to explain it wow. exactly to a detective or a police officer. And it's very uncomfortable, but you have to yeah. do it. So yeah. the earlier, the better. And you just tell them, listen, if somebody touches you without your, without your permission, I don't care who it is, right. you tell mommy or you tell daddy. Yes. Yeah, right. That is right. Right. Yeah. This is a this is a conversation that really affects me personally because when I think about why am I so passionate to spend the rest of my life protecting people who are violated by their rights. Trafficking mm -hmm. is one thing, sex trafficking is a major thing, but it does come down to the moments that you just let it slip when it comes to the first time you experience any form of harassment or mm. abuse. And I realized that I grew up in a culture, in a, a Vietnamese culture, where you don't talk about sex. All I knew from Mama Mai and my dad in, to protect me was, do not get pregnant and do not have sex. Mm. Like, you, you're not having sex. Mm. It wasn't even an option to talk about dating, a boy you like, yeah. kissing. You, it was just done, ironclad. Wow. So as I grew up, I remember the one time I got the closest to um, a, a, a um, instruction of what sexual harassment looks like. And it was this piece of paper, and it was a picture of a hand touching a knee. And they said, this is okay. And then mm -hmm. the next picture showed the hand moving to the thigh, and wow. it said, not okay. Uh -huh. And I remember for me, I thought, oh, wow. Like, 
we actually have to talk about this now. Like, that's not okay. And I registered it, just like you do as a kindergartner. You think, when you say stop, drop, and roll, I know what you're referring to. Yes. Like, yes. You know, things like that. But I never knew that it's not just the hand and where that goes. Mm -hmm. This is not okay. Mm. The words you say to me are not okay. The way you look at me down the hallway is not okay. Absolutely. Right. So, I realized later, y'all, like we're not, uh, I'm not giving myself props. I didn't know in my 20s. I didn't know when I get hollered at in my mid 20s and even in my 30s. I'm now learning. This is getting everybody woke to what's okay. So I'm learning now that it's important to have this conversation, not only about what's okay and what's not okay, but to teach your kid to build their own boundaries yes. with what is okay. Here's why, yes. right? right? My girlfriend's in school. Absolutely, they would call out like, look at Jeannie's booty, like, cause right. you know, I don't have one and, that, and that's okay. My girlfriend, <laughs> Tamara, pats it all the time and that's okay for me. Yeah. She is my friend, I trust her. My boundary is comfortable with you because I know you. Yeah. But that doesn't mean when I walk down the street that you can comment on what my butt looks like because I don't know you like that. Yeah. For yes. Them. So teach your kids the boundaries that are okay and, and with what's them. What's the consent and things yes. like yes. that? And yes. just for the parents out there, if you have uh, difficulty having that conversation, there are actually books um, out there that'll help you. There's a book called I Said No, mm -hmm. a kid to kid Ooh. guide to keeping private parts private, and your body belongs to you. So make sure you guys check out those books that yeah. is on great. Amazon. Yeah. That is so informative. Yeah. I also think it's important. Um, that we charge the adults as well, that if someone comes to you and tells you something's wrong, take them seriously, yeah. listen to them, hear them out, and follow the follow follow it out to making sure that that child is protected. Don't take it lightly. I know sometimes we can be like, um, you know, like you said, even if they're using code words, try to understand and hear that this child is crying out to you and yeah. trusting you with information. Don't take it lightly. Yeah. Exactly. Protect that child, help that child. It's yeah. good the schools are doing this, so good, good, good work, schools. Yes. You know? yes. Someone who has made the most of his high school experience is NBA superstar LeBron James. Wow. Yesterday, yeah. LeBron reached a major milestone as he became just the seventh player ever to score 30,000 career points. Go ahead, LeBron! Everybody was so proud of him, but nobody was prouder of LeBron than LeBron. <laughs> Before the game, LeBron posted a picture of himself back in his high school days saying, in part, quote, want to be one of the first to congratulate you on this accomplishment achievement tonight. Only a handful has seen it, and while I know it's never been a goal of yours from the beginning, please try to take a moment for yourself on how you've done it. Congrats again, young king. Yes. Now, <laughs> of James' self-congratulations, while others love the fact that LeBron is his biggest fan. Drake even put up a post on his Instagram congratulating LeBron and bragging about Spotify streams for his latest single, God's Plan. So, I love that song. You know, never too late to promote your own self. Now, ladies, what do you think of LeBron's humble brag? I, I'm here for it because sometimes while you're motivating yourself, you're motivating others, yes. and you have to remind yourself yes. who you are. Mm -hmm. um, I can remember after Sister Sister going on auditions and I forgot how to audition because I had been working on a show for so long. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I had to look at myself in the mirror and remind myself, Tamara, you played Tamara Campbell on Sister Sister. <laughs> You got this. Because <laughs> actually there's a one in four million chance of somebody being booked on yes. a sitcom. So one I was like- One in four, four million. million. Wow. Yes, which is basically a wow. lot of zeros, point yes. a lot of zeros and two five. So I was like, you know what? I got this. I'm yes. do this. You have to you tell have to yourself, remind yourself that. Yes. You know, and he's played 1,107 games. Uh, that's a lot. And it's, uh, he's only the seventh person. The NBA has been around since 1949. Yes. Wow. That is a major accomplishment. And you know what? Con Kobe congratulated him. Who He's yes. always looked up mm -hmm. to Kobe. Kobe sent out a tweet. A lot of people sent out a tweet. But what I really thought w w was really sweet, his kids congratulated him. We yes. have a little yes. bit of that. Can we run that? Take. Oh. Congratulations, Dad, on 30,000 points, and you're the best. Congratulations, Dad, on 30,000 points. I'm proud of you, but you know I taught you well. Congratulations, Daddy, I love you. And his wife, Savannah, was also on yeah. there. You know what? 
I'm just feeling something, you guys. I what? think sometimes we all need to pat ourselves yes. on the back. Yes. So you know what? Yes. Send, I, send okay. your own on yes. Instagram put or on own. Twitter. Put your own. Put something that you are happy or proud yes. of yourself. I don't care if you if you went to work today, if you yes. got up early, if yes. you just something, just Make send it, it to us. I and hashtag it, yes. the real season four. Real S4. Yes. And I'll retweet some of the stuff, okay? Yeah, that is we'll, I'll I love the idea. <laughs> That's great. He wasn't just congratulating himself. I think there's a deeper meaning in this. He actually put a photo of himself up when he was in high school. Yeah. And I think that it's such a healthy thing. We've even done it on the show, writing letters to your younger self. Yes. What would you say to your younger self? And I think in this, he's looking at this young kid who had a dream, who had a goal, yeah. and now he's accomplished it. And he's saying congratulations, not just to himself now, but to that young boy in that yes. picture. I love and it. And I think that's yeah. so special. It and is. to piggyback on what you're saying, when you really read his words, yeah. he actually then turns into thanking the people around him that yes. helped him make it possible. God, you know, his family. Family. And I love what you're initiating now because I did this over Christmas. I was home with my parents and I saw a picture of myself and it just flashed over me because when I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, I remember this girl, Aww, what she was wearing, so what I was cute. thinking when I put that outfit together, what I wanted to be when I permed my hair and how sassy <laughs> I wanted to get. And it reminded me that if you don't know where to find self-love, you're going to spend the rest of your life trying to find it somewhere else. It's yeah. true. And the best movie. I'm I'm gonna just bring this up. The best movie right now that I encourage everybody to watch, it's an Oscar-nominated movie, is I, Tanya. It's oh. a perfect example of what happens to a young person if they don't know how to find self-love. They get into the wrong habits to perpetually Hang find with the wrong people. Yes. And so don't try to find it in someone else. Some people don't know how to love you out in those streets. Yes. Find the way to love yes. yourself. Yes. Love yes. yourself first. Yeah. I love yes. that, team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of being able to laugh at yourself, yesterday, Tiffany Haddish had the honor of announcing the Oscar nominations and had a little trouble pronouncing some of the nominees' names. Despite that fact, people seem to love Tiffany as the host, including Best Adapted Screenplay nominee Michael H. Weber, who tweeted, quote, Tiffany Haddish can mispronounce my name any way she wants. Woo-hoo! He's excited. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, Tiffany saw Michael's tweet and responded saying, I am so sorry. I just felt like I was a substitute teacher <laughs> in a key and pill skit. I was having an un... You skits. know exactly what it is. An unreal experience. Yeah. So grateful. You are cool. Congratulations. So, so ladies, fun. that's a good skit. Can you relate to Tiffany? Lonnie, do you ever have a little trouble oh. with people's <laughs> names? The shade. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, all of us do. No, don't we? I know. We all, all you us. just stumbled. This yes. is just what we do. When it's live, first of all, I want to give it up to Tiffany because yeah. to get up that early in the morning and she probably wasn't quite prepared, you do mispronounce names. But now, also she I didn't also want to say okay. that everybody wasn't happy. There were yeah. some people oh, really? that they went in on her. Uh, Serafina, as Ser Serafina tweeted, it might have been nice if Tiffany Haddish had taken a moment to learn the pronunciation pronunciations of the nods names mm -hmm. it's only one of the biggest days of their lives now i want to say you gotta understand where tiffany come from me and her kind of come from the same cloth we were she was raised in foster care system so mm -hmm. maybe it's not the best education maybe they don't you know study phonics but the thing <laughs> is that she's a survivor yes. and for her to go go from where yes. she was to be here on the oscar stage worldwide i think you gotta kind of give her a break you can a doctorate, and some people's names are just not yes, easy to pronounce. Yes, I was say. Yes. That's I, it. And she might not have known those names, you guys. You, yeah. you might not or you might not be allowed. That's top secret up until it's announced. I'm so she might not one. know. Hey, hey, I, every day there is a name out here that y'all see me, <laughs> and we could run tape Wait, yes. on me struggling to pronounce, yes. and you could put yeah. it in phonetically, you can, but in my mind, I'm seeing it one kind of way. But this is the thing. I keep trying, yes, and I want yes, to yes, yes, keep yes. trying. Keep yes. trying. I'm sorry. We just did an award show, the NAACP that award. That was hard. There were names that were literally like X, Y, N, Z, A. Yeah. You tell me how to pronounce that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, and it, I, it's difficult. Different cultures. It's hard. Yeah. And it's I, I just want to apologize to Marseille when she won yeah. her NAACP Image Award. She's a lovely actress on Blackish. Yes, love her. I said Marseille. So, and I have... 
uh, I graduated with honors from Pepperdine University, right. so I agree with yeah. what you ladies say. It's just, sometimes it is just hard to pronounce yes. certain names. And yeah. as long as you spellings. do it confidently, yes. you're yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I wanna, yeah. You're cool. Because the spelling is famous yes. M A R S A I. You could think that's Sai. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, Go, go ahead, no. go ahead, sweet. Okay, I wanna take this into a different direction real quick, okay? okay? Why? In this world, there are two types of people. One, that will correct you when you say your, their, their name yes. wrong. <laughs> Be like, no, it's actually Lucy or whatever it is. Right. And then there's others who sit by and just let it slide. And we four here, let's, I'm keeping it real. <laughs> we have absolutely been guilty of letting it slide a time yes. and a half. Like, yes. we've had reporters Oh, that they murder our, our name. Oh. oh, like shots fired. And oh. you'll see our face because we'll the be time. like, Jeannie, or no, it'll be like Jenny Love. Yes. Guys, Jenny. at the NAACP Awards, yep. they kept calling me and Tamara and Adriana. Yes. Tamara and Adriana. And we were just like, okay, And they were just okay. quiet, and then I was like, it's Tamara and Adriana. <laughs> yeah. I just, you know, okay. Like, that first NAACP luncheon we went to, they announced Jeannie on the stage, and we have here Jenny May. <laughs> <laughs> they be confident, they were too. Like, Loney. Yes, Loney. Yeah. So I think there has to be something. I'm guilty of being that person. Yeah. Yes. How do you correct somebody? Because sometimes you don't want to be rude, but right. it's wrong. So I think sometimes you could just do it as a joke. Like, yeah. girl, my name is Tamara. Yes. Yes. Oh. You know. yes, yes, yes. Don't embarrass them in front of everybody yeah. and take them to the side and be like, hey, just yeah. wanted to help you. My name is actually Adrian. Remember uh, Gabby, Gab Gabrielle mm -hmm. Cinebe? Yes. Yeah, I was calling her Cinnabon or something like yes. that. And it was like, and, but she waited until after the segment and she was like, girl, this is my... And so it's she like, did it oh, it's the way to do it. It yes. was perfect. So yeah. that's, you know, yeah, with that smile. Correct, 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 correct